to Hockey have been kind enough to send me their ultra low bow stick. The stick is crafted to improve 3D skills, which are essential in today's game. The stick is designed for drag flicking, so it has a 24.75mm bow, with its maximum bow point located 200mm from the head of the stick. It also features a concave shaft, really help you control the ball while drag flicking. The stick is made of premium Japanese Torre carbon and has a 90% carbon composition. The stick features the Otter sandpaper head with the ultra high control area touch compound going halfway up the stick, which I think is a really nice inclusion. It also helps with your drag flicking as it keeps you in control of the ball for longer up the stick. So as I just mentioned, the Otter Stick is 90% carbon and also features a touch compound that runs halfway up the shaft. Now the carbon percentage means that the stick is on the stiffer end of the spectrum. It is a very stiff stick, there is a lot of feedback as soon as you receive the ball. That touch compound really softens the first touch, it makes it slightly more forgiving than other high carbon compound sticks. Because it runs so far up the stick, it's also really good for controlling the ball as it rolls up the shaft which can also be useful for utilising 3D skills over a stick. In terms of feel on the ball, the Otter stick is very stiff and gives a lot of feedback. Now this really leads into my personal preference when it comes to sticks, as I like that alive and responsive feel on the ball. So the second the ball hits the stick, you get a signal sent up through the stick into your hands so you know straight away. Because this stick has the alive feel, it's really good for moving the ball around. So you can move the ball around with absolute precision, knowing exactly where it is on the stick at any one time. This means the stick gives you much more confidence when going into a one-on-one -on -one situation on the pitch. Because the stick is so stiff, it gives you a really good power transfer when you're hitting the ball. The stick's sweet spot is fairly large. This makes it easier to get a really good connection when you're hitting the ball. Because of the profile of the stick, it is easy to lift if you allow the head of the stick to get ahead of your wrists when you're hitting. But as long as you use the proper technique, that is something that's easy to avoid. Once you have got your technique adapted to use this stick, it's very easy to put the ball into the top corner and really put a lot of power behind it. The stick also has the same power transfer when you're slapping the ball. And because it's also got the concave shaft, it's really easy to get whip on the ball as well, so you can really power the ball down the line, but also get a bit of spin on it so it curves back in field. The stick is equally stiff when you're hitting on the reverse edge. The Otter features a very thick reverse edge, which makes it very easy to control when you're lifting the ball on a shot. Because of how easy it is to control whether or not the ball lifts, you can really smash the ball hard and flat to teammates for deflections in the D or down the line for a running forward. Because of the thickness of this edge, it can be a little tricky at first to get the ball to lift in a way you want. But once you've got that figured out, it's very easy to control the pitch of the ball so you can put it just onto the top of the backboard or into the roof of the net. So flicking is what the stick is really designed to do. The profile really makes it easy to get under the ball. Because of the angle of the head, you can get under the ball easily and lift it up onto the face where you can then chuck the ball into the air. Because of how easy it is to get under the ball, the stick is fantastic for doing small lift passes. Chucking the ball 10-15 yards, 6 inches off the ground to a teammate. It's also very good for using 3D skills, so getting under the ball and lifting it over a stick to beat a defender. Because the touch pound goes so high up the stick, you have more control as the ball moves up and down the shaft. This enables you to add more whip onto the ball with much more confidence so you can add more power to your flicks. Because of this, it's very easy to put the ball onto the roof of the net. The stick's flicking prowess really moves through into the aerials as well. Because of that touch compound coming so high up the stick, you can roll the ball up the shaft and really whip through the ball to add a lot of distance to your overhead passes. 
with a little bit of practice you can really rein this in and so you can drop the ball onto a teammate's stick 60 yards away with E. Because of the angle of the face and the bow of the stick, it's very easy to lift the ball very high up with aerials. Because of this, you can lose a lot of power, but if you can get the angle correct, you can add a lot of distance and throw it comfortably over your nearest defender. This stick really excels with drag flicks. As I've said, the touch compound comes very high up the shaft, which means you can get a lot of grip on the ball as you're flicking. Because of this, you can really whip through the ball with so much confidence, you can get a lot of power. With this power, you can also curve the ball in the air by adding a small amount of spin because of this grip. If you utilize this correctly, it can just add a little bit of curve onto the ball as it's in the air and make it harder for goalkeepers to make the save. Because of the touch compound, you have so much control when you're flicking the ball. You can easily pick out all four corners of the goal, as well as the top of the backboard if that's where you want to go. Because of this, you have a lot of confidence when firing off drag flicks on penalty corners, either for shooting or for teammate deflections. To celebrate working together with Otter Hockey, we've decided to give away this review stick so you have a chance to win this Otter stick that I've reviewed. The stick will come with a Boss F Hockey Grip Pro Grip. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning this Otter stick is like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow Boss F Hockey and Otter Hockey on Instagram. While you're at it, please like this video and leave a comment of what stick you'd like me to review next.